guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So you guys probably all heard of Among Us. Today, I made a mini Among Us, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, Among Us is where there's an imposter and a crewmate, and it's all about finding out who the imposter is. For the crewmate, they have to finish their tests and try not to die while finding out who the imposter is. The imposter has to try to kill everyone and sabotage and friends. So, I'm going to show you how to make one of my mini Among Us. What you'll need is scissors, markers, a cardboard box, tape or glue, and paper. So let's get started. The first thing that you do is cut two holes very far apart from each other into the bottom of your box. Then, with a red marker, outline them. These will be your vents. When you do this, you are taking a posture and you will lift up the box and then poof and then this one's a little bit small. Poof. It must be as big both must be as big as three fingers can fit inside. Now, step two. On your walls, make different rooms of the map. You can make Polis, Myra, or Skeld. Today I'm just demonstrating Skeld and the rooms in Skeld, but you can always do other rooms. Do as many rooms fit into the most important rooms or the rooms you like. And make sure to label the tests above them, like download data and divert and wires and collaborate distributor. I did electrical, shields, med bay, cafeteria, reactor, and map. Also, this is optional. You really don't need to do this. But I had two flaps on the side. So when you open the flaps, I also made storage. You probably can't see that, but it's there. And with micas, you can make all the details in that room. Like I made scan, I made tables and cafeteria. Um, I did fixed lights and electrical. And yeah, I also put some gem stickers in nav just because I wanted to. But you can add any decoration you want. Step three. Anywhere you want, you can make a security area. In the security area, you can have this big screen and you can put stuff on it where it is. And yeah, and then you can like design it as ever you want. And then put some pretend security cameras on your walls. Step four, I made an emergency meeting badge. Now, I put a circle, and when you're doing this, sorry, that's my dog. When you're doing this, you put the color in the circle, and then you put what they say. And on this side, what you say, and then on the back, this is really cool. You, I, you automatically put all the colors that are gonna be in the game. I put green, lime, purple, black, orange, cyan, and ye yellow and blue. And then, when somebody gets voted out, um, we'll do that on step five. Step five. Now, when somebody gets voted out, you'll need another piece of paper. Now, on that piece of paper, put out a rectangle. Then that rectangle, cut out another rectangle. And then cut out a small piece, small square piece of paper. And... You can make this double-sided or not double-sided, but I made mine double-sided. And the, put the name and the color of the crewmate. I did green and cyan. 
Now tape that rectangle on on each side except for one flap at the end. And now it gets really cool. So you will put this little card inside and then and then bloop. Right was not the imposter or was the imposter. I put was not the imposter. So like cyan was not the imposter. So yeah. That's really cool. Step six. We have these mini crewmates. They are adorable. Um so cut a mini crewmate out. You can cut like well yeah and then just cut a little rectangle in the middle. Now flap it over and color whatever color you want. I colored a pink, a yellow, a green, and the imposter is blue. So you can make however many you want, but I made four. So now flap it over and color a bone and color that part yellow, but not the whole back, just that one little flap. Um, and so once, so when the imposter kills them, they land like this. Step seven. On the top, I made stuff. I made the map. And if you want, you can put little ex exclamation points where they have tasks as a decoration. Then I have this report button. And if you're on pasta kill button and sabotage button. And up here, we have all the places you can sabotage. Now, if you have one of these, you can use these for when sabotage, and you can like just put it above to make it look like it's sabotaged. Yeah, I put fixed lights on a different one that I'll explain on seven, and I put reactor meltdown, and I also put O2. Um, so yeah, now. On part seven, this is completely optional. These next two are completely optional. But I made a square in the top of Med Bay, but you can do this whichever room. And then I put a cut in the middle, and now there are two flaps. So usually they'll be open, but if you sabotage them, they'll be closed. So the, so the crewmate can't get out. Now this is completely optional, but I think it just adds a nice touch. Now, eight. Now this is the final step and it's also optional, but if you wanna add some flair, you can make a flip book. And it's a, when you kill somebody. Now, this is optional. It only took me about like 30 minutes to do this. And yeah, so it's really easy and it's just do little details at a time. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um tell me in the comment section down below which rooms you did in yours this is a very fun activity if you love among us you can make it as a decoration or you can play with it or so yeah you can play with it with your family this is just a really cool thing and i hope you guys make it and have fun doing it bye